Good evening, and Happy New Year. Welcome to the reorganization meeting of Hillsborough Township Committee for 2014. My name is Pamela Bork, and I'm the Township Clerk of Hillsborough, and as required by New Jersey State law, I will preside over this meeting until the members of this Township Committee elect a mayor. At this time, I will call the roll. Committee Member Shett? Here. Committee Woman McCauley? Here. Committeeman Sirachi? Here. Committeeman Thompson? Here. Okay, thank you. In a moment, I will ask you all to rise for the presentation of colors, at which time, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation, after which you may be seated. So at this time, please rise as Boy Scout Troop 489 presents our colors, escorted by Officer Ted Lewis of the Hillsboro Township Police Department. They will also lead us in the salute to the flag. Right face, detail post, detail left face, forward march, you please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will you please bow your heads with me as we pray? Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for the many opportunities and blessings in 2013. We are also grateful that you are with us during our trials and challenges. Tonight we gather at the beginning of a new year to commit to you the people and business of Hillsborough Township. God, you have called the members of our Township Committee to the awesome responsibility of being servant leaders. We thank you for them and all those who serve with them. We ask that you will grant to them your spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice that they may faithfully serve in their positions to promote the well-being of the people and the institutions of the Township of Hillsborough. Please surround them with supportive family and friends, strengthen their bodies, their minds, and their spirits as they endeavor to serve you and your people. While we don't know what is in store for us in 2014, we know that whatever we encounter, you are with us. We humbly ask for your continued blessings on the organizations, businesses, schools, and families of our Township. And we ask for your blessing this evening on the Township Committee Reorganization Meeting. We pray all these things in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Please join me in a round of applause for our scouts of Troop 489, Officer Ted Lewis of the Township Police Department and the Reverend Wolf of the New Christian Fellowship. Thank you all again for your participation this evening. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7 p.m on January 2nd, 2014. Before we continue, I'd just like to take a moment and acknowledge a number of special guests who have joined us here this evening, despite this inclement weather. Thank you for going out on these roads. Um, first, we received very uh, several phone calls earlier today from those individuals unable to join us. 
but wishing the township well in 2014. It is always appreciated to see the support given to Hillsborough Township by so many of our elected officials. And your presence here this evening means a great deal to our township. Um, we see Congressman uh, Leonard Lance here with us this evening. <laughs> Assemblyman Jack Cedarelli. Um, Freeholder Deputy Director, I'm sorry. Um, Freeholder Robert Zabrowski. And Freeholder Mark Caliguire. Hillsborough Mayor Stephen Cerisi. Hillsborough Mayor Bob Wagner, <laughs> thank you all once again for joining us here this evening and again taking time out of your busy schedules. Um, it is truly appreciated here in Hillsborough. Um, it is my honor to announce this certification of the November 5th 2013 general election by Somerset County Clerk Brett Ratty electing Frank Delcor to the Hillsborough Township Committee for a three-year term beginning January 1, 2014 and ending December 31, 2016. Committeeman Delcor, congratulations. <laughs> I ask Mr. Frank Delcor, his family, and the Honorable Jack Cettarelli, member of the New Jersey State General Assembly, to please come forward for the oath of office. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially. That I will impartially and justly and justly perform all the duties of the office. Perform all the duties of the office. Of committee man. Of committee man. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome, committee man Delcor. Please join your colleagues here on the dais. Now that he has joined here on the dais, I will conduct another roll call. Committee Member Shett? Here. Committee Delcor? Here. <laughs> Committee Woman McCauley? Here. Committee Man Sirachi? Here. here and Committee Man Thompson? Here. We will now proceed with the election of the mayor. Are there any nominations for the office of mayor for 2014 for Hillsborough Township? Ms. Bork, I would like to nominate uh, Douglas Thompson as mayor for 2014. Ms. Bork, I would like to second that nomination. Okay. Are there any further nominations? <laughs> Seeing none, I declare these nominations closed. I will now conduct a roll call on the election of Douglas Thompson as mayor of Hillsborough Township to, for 2014. Committeeman Delcor? Yes. Committeewoman McCauley? Yes. Committeeman Sirachi? Yes. Committeeman Thompson? Yes. Committeeman Burchette? Yes. 
I declare Douglas Thompson mayor of Hillsborough Township for 2014. Congratulations, Mayor Thompson. We will call on Assemblyman Chatterelli once again this evening. Please come forward with Mayor Thompson's family for the oath of office. Solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established in the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. On the authority of the people. On the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially, that I will impartially and justly, and justly perform all the duties of the office, to perform all the duties of the office of mayor, of mayor, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all uh, so very much. I will have a few remarks uh, later in the evening, but first we have some more reorganization <clears throat> business to attend to. Now we will proceed with the election of Deputy Mayor for 2014. Are there any nominations for Deputy Mayor? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate, or it would be my honor to nominate uh, my running mate, Greg Burchette, for Deputy Mayor two, for 2014. Is there a second? I will second that. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I declare the nominations to be closed. Ms. Borak, uh, will you please conduct a roll call vote on the election of Gregory Burchette as Deputy Mayor for 2014? Committee Member Shett? Yes. Committee Member Delcor? Yes. Committee Member McCauley? Yes. Committee Member Sirachi? Yes. And Mayor Thompson? Yes. I declare Greg Burchette to be elected Deputy Mayor for 2014. Congratulations, Deputy Mayor Burchette. I look forward to working with you during this year. And now if you could step forward for the oath of office. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments. And to the government. Established in the United States. Established in, in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. That I will impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of Deputy Mayor. Of the office of deputy mayor according to the best of my ability to, according to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations Over here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Deputy Mayor Greg Burchett. Musical chairs were set. All right. It is snowing outside. At this time, I wish to continue the tradition of recognizing the outgoing mayor, which was begun by Mayor Bob Wagner when he was selected to serve as mayor in 2005. I ask Commitment Delcor to join me here for the presentation. There we go. Please accept this gavel uh, set commemorating your term as mayor of Hillsborough as a small token of our appreciation for your dedicated service to our community. Frank, from everyone up here, I offer us your thanks. Thank you, Mayor. I don't travel without my own cheering section. It's very nice. Uh, we're now going to move on to comments from members of the Township Committee, and since I'm mayor, I get to go first. So, uh, with your indulgence, I do have to tell a quick story. And some of you have heard it before, but it, uh, it does bear repeating today out of all days. Right after this building was built, uh, my Cub Scout troops signed up to take a tour of the new building. Uh, much to everyone's excitement, the then mayor, Peter J. Biondi, was going to give the tour. Uh, Mayor Biondi showed us every single nook and cranny of this building, I mean, from everywhere. And the tour ends up in the mayor's office every single time. And in there, there's this giant map of Hillsborough from the 1860s. And Pete took the time and he went through and showed where every single person's house was on that map. And I have this very vivid memory of that day when Pete was showing it to everyone, because I knew that at that point I wanted to be mayor. Now, the part that I remember about that most is that I thought Pete got a free car and a big house. <laughs> that's the president. Yeah. I've learned that that's only the president and uh, that actually uh, isn't true. But it never stopped me wanting from uh, achieving the goal. And I have a lot of people to thank for having this uh, goal come true for me today. So, First, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight and fighting through the snow and everyone who will be watching at home uh, for your continued support of the Township Committee. You don't get to sit in this chair without the help from everyone in this community, so I have to say thank you. I also want to thank the Reverend Tim Ruthie Wolf. I really do bring my own cheering, this is great. Uh, thank the Reverend Timothy Wolf, uh, the Hillsborough Township Police Officer Ted Lewis, and Boy Scout Troop 489 for their participation in the ceremony this evening. I also want to thank my colleagues for their support. Uh, first, with uh, Committeeman Sirachi, uh, you were my mayor my first year. And uh, I truly appreciate the, uh, the basis you gave me uh, for what a mayor should be, and I thank you for that. Committee Woman McCauley, uh, my running mate uh, and a good friend, thank you for showing me the ropes my first year mm -hmm. and always providing me some valuable insight on so many different topics about this community. Mm -hmm. Deputy Mayor Burchette, uh, first, congratulations on being selected as Deputy Mayor. Uh, and second, thank you for your friendship over the years. When I first was appointed to the planning board, Greg was the chairman, and he had a reputation of not only keeping the meetings extremely short, but also being very short with the applicants. Uh, at the time, uh, because I was a novice, I thought Greg was just being rude to the applicants. <laughs> but I quickly learned that that was his businessman mentality, and to get to the bottom line and find a solution, that's something that politicians nowadays don't have. So Hillsborough is extremely lucky to have you serving up here. And last but not least, uh, former Mayor Delcor, Thank you for your dedication and service as mayor last year, and congratulations on your re-election. Frank said something to be on election day that really stuck with me. And I'll paraphrase to be brief. Uh, the first time you run for office, if you lose, the voters rejected you just based on a name. But when you run as mayor with a record and you lose, they reject what you've done. Well, Mayor Delcor, the people of Hillsborough love what you've done, and they showed it to you last election. So congratulations again from everyone in Hillsborough, and again, I want to thank you for when I was deputy mayor, you uh, gave me the time and showed me all the different 
things that uh, have to do with being mayor and really involved me in the process. So I appreciate that. Thank you. I also want to thank all the township employees, volunteers, and citizens who serve on all of our boards and commissions on a daily basis, who work hard for this town and make it one of the greatest places to live in America. And so many who came out tonight to support us. Uh, it, is, it doesn't go unnoticed, and we appreciate it. Also, a thank you to uh, Hillsborough's own Assemblyman Chitterelli for swearing me in tonight and braving it off of the mountain. Growing up on Saraland Mountain, it's not the easiest thing to get down here all the time, so I do appreciate it. Uh, and I also have to thank the Republican Club of Hillsborough for their constant support and dedication, especially a big thank you to a chairman and former mayor, Steve Cerisi, uh, for everything, and our vice chair and former committee woman, Helen Haynes, for everything that they've done for me year in and year out. And thank you to all the state and county officials that have uh, braved the snow to come in tonight. Uh, that really gets to show you why Hillsborough is once again one of the best towns in all of America. And CNN verified it so I can brag about it. Uh, and last but not least are all my friends and family who were able to come tonight. There's a lot of you guys in the audience. Uh, I know you came from all over the state and it means a lot to me that you did travel during the snow. I also want to thank all my family here today, including my many aunts and uncles, cousins, my uh, in-laws. Uh, my grandfather couldn't make it tonight because of the snow, but that's okay. It's better because he's a, he's a Democrat and it kills him that I'm up here as a Republican. <laughs> it kills him. <laughs> and I'll rub it in when I see him again. Take a deep breath. And last but not least for my children, uh, they mean the world to me. <laughs> and to my beautiful wife, Rachel, who just allows me to do this. It means a lot, so thank you. That was a tough part. I'm fine now. <laughs> 2013 was another great year for Hillsborough Township. Uh, progress in our town is moving forward on all fronts, and this committee continues to keep our promises and do so while spending less money than years prior. Not a lot of towns can say that. A commitment I made when I first was elected was to treat each dollar like it's my own. It's a promise I will keep as mayor every day and year that I'm up here. I truly believe government should be run like a business. If we can find a way to save money, we will. One area in particular I want to focus on this year in reducing property taxes is by pursuing the Shop Hillsborough program previously discussed, vigorously pursuing our core collections that are owed to this township, and finding new savings through programs like the energy aggregation that we entered into last year. I also plan to continue to work closely with the county and state governments as we move closer to opening our GSA property into the state-of-the-art park and watch as the Peter J. Biondi bypass moves closer to completion. All this while we stick to our master plan and work towards a walkable downtown one day. As a lifelong resident of this town, I watched our town move from our mostly rural town to what we are today. I love the town that we were, I love the town that we are, and where we're coming. I will always work hard to protect our land, and this township committee will continue our commitment to preserving land throughout our town. With over 33% of the town off limits to developers, we know what, we, what we've done, we have more to do, and we're going to continue to do it as long as we're up here. Now, as part of my day job, I get to visit communities throughout the state. And one thing I've learned in my travels is that government that are most open and direct with the people are the best ones. That's a tenant that it's something I hope to continue this year as I work to launch a new website and release new ways for the township to interact with the community and keep the community more informed about the daily happenings of this town. One of the only areas I can think we can ever improve on is getting our community more involved. Working closely with our administrator and township employees, I hope to increase our community's involvement to show everyone why this town is the best in America. Again, thank you to everyone who came out tonight and braved the weather. I can't articulate enough how much it means to me. And I look forward to working with all, all of you this year. May it be another prosperous year for Hillsborough Township. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Mayor Burchette. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mayor. I'd like to wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. Um, additionally, I'd like to thank you for attending the reorg this evening as you're walking out the door. But, uh, <laughs> it's a troop. Thank you. <laughs> the troop wants to get home. I don't blame them. Uh, your presence is very much appreciated, and uh, we really appreciate your support. Congratulations, Doug, for being selected mayor for 2014. Uh, we have a great team, and I really look forward to working with this team under your leadership. Frank, you did a great job serving the township for 2014, 13. I really appreciate your guidance during my freshman year on the committee. 
and you're a special person, and you did a terrific job. Thank you. I'd especially like to thank my wife, Sella, and my son, Jared, for your past and future support. Just don't break any more bones. <laughs> I would also like to publicly thank Gloria and Carl for showing me the ropes over the past year and for making me feel quickly a part of this great team, the Township Committee. I'd also like to thank the Honorable Jack Cittarelli for swearing me in again. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. Thank you, Jack. In closing, I'd like to fo in closing, I'd like to fo the fo <laughs> I'd like to read is what I'd like to do. <laughs> in closing, I look forward to serving the residents of Hillsboro in my new role as Deputy Mayor. Thank you for your support, and I promise I will give you my very best. Thank you. Order, Committeeman Delcourt. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, congratulations. Uh, over the past years, we've had the opportunity to work together we, uh, as, as Mayor and Deputy Mayor. Uh, it's clear to me that uh, this township is in very good hands for the for the coming year under your leadership. So, uh, I look forward to supporting you any way I can. So, uh, best of luck and congratulations, uh, Mr. Deputy Mayor. Congratulations to you as well. Um, Coming in last year, it's always the, that first year is always a challenge. But uh, as uh, as the mayor noted, the, the approach that you bring with your uh, with your business acumen and uh, the business approach that we've all strived to achieve here in the township is is welcome. So uh, thank you for that and uh, congratulations on the deputy mayor. You're going to do a great job. To my uh, to the rest of my colleagues, Carl, and Gloria, and the, uh, thank you very much for uh, for the kind words and for the. Uh, the opportunity last year to serve as mayor, um, as you could see uh, from 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 uh, Mayor Thompson, it is a great honor, uh, and it's one that uh, I will never forget. And uh, I, I greatly appreciate the faith that you've put in me to, to do that last year, and it was a great thrill, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, two other folks. One, uh, the the voters uh, for letting me come back up here and do this for another three years. Um, it really is uh, a tremendous honor to be able to serve this township, and uh, uh, there's good things that I believe we've done, but still things that we want to do uh, that I know this uh, with my colleagues we will accomplish. So I thank you for giving me that opportunity to come back here and, and serve for another three years. And uh, finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, thank my wife and, and uh, my two daughters, Rebecca and Kristen, for allowing me to uh, take some time away from them and serve the residents here. They've let me do this for six years, and I uh, talked them into three more. So uh, <laughs> they're uh, they're uh, they're very gracious. And Jack, as always, thank you for your uh, mm -hmm. for your for your swearing in. Uh, thank you very much. I look forward to uh, to three more years. And I look forward to 2014. Thank you. Thank you, Committeeman Delcor, Committeewoman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. As my running mate, as you had said earlier, it's been a, a really great couple of years working with you and getting to know you more and uh, your expertise and the knowledge. And I always do go back to the fact that you were born and raised in this town. I was thinking about that today as I was thinking of something to say this evening. I don't have any speeches. I wasn't sworn in, so I'll make it short. But I wanted to say congratulations. I know you'll do a great job in serving your community. You. And I know the story of Pete Biondi and you coming through for the Boy Scouts, and we still do that today. Uh, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts still come through our community, and I think it only goes to show that there is some uh, visual to getting to know your local government and community, and it does instill those good quality values in children today. So, perfect example. Mayor Frank Delcor, um, would never be the same without you. Very happy you're reelected, and looking forward to another three years of working with you. I know uh, working side by side when elected, you've done a wonderful job. Always um, very even-minded and uh, fair, and I appreciate that. Good luck in your next three years. Carl, as always, uh, next few years of working with you as well. And again, we do have a great team up here, and I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Deputy Mayor, now Burchette. I've known Greg a long time. We've served on the planning board together. He's been serving our community before even becoming a committeeman for several years. I never doubted for a second that you wouldn't bring that knowledge full forward into your community relationship. So good luck to you as Deputy Mayor this year. Thank you all, and have a happy 2014.
Thank you, Committeeman McCauley, and last but certainly not least, Committeeman Sirachi. Thank you, Mayor, and I promise to be brief because I know like everyone else here, we want to get to that coffee and cake. So, uh, or home. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to wish everyone a very happy and healthy uh, New Year in 2014. Excuse me, and thank you for all coming out. Uh, you know, bearing the snowstorm. Uh, congratulations, Mayor, and congratulations on the eve of your first state of emergency. <laughs> no better way to get started. <laughs> so, but congratulations on your election as mayor. And uh, to my running mate, Greg, I know him qu quite well, considering we were running mates, and that's all I'm going to say right now. <laughs> you get to learn a lot from a person, but no, you're going to do a great job, and I think uh, the mayor, you know, definitely described Greg to a T there. So, uh, experience as on the planning board member and chairman it's going to be much valued up here on the dais and uh frank congratulations third term trying nothing like you. it trying to catch me <clears throat> but best of luck again and it'll be nice to you know get you working with me next <clears throat> so uh you know very good next term so and gloria <clears throat> i'm still here you're still here <laughs> No, but uh, no, but it's been a pleasure because I know we've worked together on a couple of committees in the past year. So uh, hopefully we'll be uh, getting assigned. We'll learn about our assignments in a couple of minutes uh, going forward. So uh, that's all I have for this evening. So uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you again for coming out. Thank you, Kuna and Sirachi. Uh, at this time, it gives me a Great pleasure and a great honor to call upon Congressman Leonard Lance for some remarks this evening. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor, and good evening to you all. It's my honor uh, to be here this evening. Uh, Hillsborough is one of uh, 75 municipalities uh, I serve in the Congress of the United States. And I'm very grateful to be able to serve you in Congress. Uh, I try to work as closely as I can with the distinguished members of this governing body. And I hope you agree with me, ladies and gentlemen. You have a very able governing body here in the township of Hillsborough. <laughs> uh, I know your mayor from his responsibilities here in municipal office. I also know your mayor in his professional responsibilities, and he and I have met on numerous occasions, making sure that the American dream of owning your own residence continues to exist in this country, not only in Trenton, when I was the minority leader in the state senate, but more recently uh, in Washington. And I want you to know that in his other professional life, he does a superb job, as I am sure he will do a superb job as mayor of Hillsborough Township. And uh, finally, Mr. Mayor, let me say that um, uh, Bill de Blasio has nothing on you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, to the distinguished person who swore you in, Assemblyman Chitterelli, President Clinton has nothing on you. <laughs> Uh, and I think that to here in Hillsborough Township, you really should be proud as being named one of the best places to live in America. And my wish for 2014 is as follows. May the recovery that is now occurring in this country advance. It has been a slow recovery, and there are still hundreds of thousands of people across this broad nation who are without employment, who want to work. And I hope we have even greater prosperity in 2014. And that is the responsibility of the President and the Congress working together, as well as officials at the state level, the county level, and the municipal level, working in concert with the private sector. And also, my other wish is that all of our troops particularly those in harm's way in Afghanistan, uh, remain safe. And might we all uh, say a silent prayer this evening on a snowy night in New Jersey 
uh, for those brave young men and women, particularly in Afghanistan. And may we recognize together, uh, in Lincoln's words, first spoken in 1862 and as true today as when first spoken, that America is mankind's last best hope on earth. Peace and prosperity to the American nation in 2014. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Congressman Lance, for those uh, thoughtful, thoughtful sentiments. Uh, I, I can honestly say it's been a pleasure working with you in both my capacities. And whether you're a Republican, Democrat, or anything in between, you're well served uh, at our federal level. And we, we could only wish that we had more Congressman Lances uh, down in Washington. I think things would go a lot smoother. So again, thank you for your, your kind words. Now moving on to our other reorganizational business this evening. First up, we have considerations. Number one is resolution adopting the rules of order for 2014. These rules of order will continue to provide the public with the opportunity to be heard on ordinances and considerations prior to a vote by the Township Committee, along with the opportunity for the public to be heard on matters that are not on the agenda at an early stage of the Township meeting. The extensive opportunity for public comment was instituted in the, by the Township of Hillsborough in 2003 and we remain committed to public involvement in the Township decision making. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. A second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Bruchette? Yes. Committeeman Delcor? Yes. Committeeman McCauley? Yes. Committeeman Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Consideration number two, resolution authorizing the 20, 2014 Community Development Committee appointments. This resolution authorizes the appointment of Assistant Township Engineer Tom Bellinger and Township Clerk Pamela Borak to be appointed as members to the 2014 Community Development Committee, William White and Health Officer Dr. Glenn Belnay are currently appointed as alternates. May I have a motion? So, so moved, move. Mayor. Second. And a second, thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Committeeman Delcor? Yes. Committeeman McCauley? Yes. Committeeman Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number three, resolution authorizing appointment of township officers and officials for 2014 as listed. May have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Committee, uh, Deputy Mayor Brissett? <laughs> yes. Committee Mandelcourt? Yes. Committee Member McCauley? Yes. Committee Member Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number four, resolution authorizing appointment of municipal court officials. This resolution authorizes the appointment of municipal court officials Frank Blandino as primary prosecutor, William Fox as DWI special prosecutor, Francesco Tadeo as public defender, and Matthew Mench as alternate public defender. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Bichette? Yes. Committee Member Delcourt? Yes. Committee Member McCauley? Yes. Committee Member Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number five, resolution authorizing the appointments of various professional services and other service providers and ex execution of professional service contracts and other contracts in accordance with the fair and open selection process, NJSA 19-44A-20.4-5 at sequence for the year 2014 as listed. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Bruchette? Yes. Commander Zalcor? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number six are mayoral appointments um, for 2014. They are listed in the packets in the back, and we don't need a motion on them. So moving on to number seven, mayoral appointments with consent of the Township Committee as listed. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? And from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Bruchette? Yes. Committee Delcor? Yes. Committee McCauley? Yes. Committee Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. 
Number eight, resolution authorizing the Township Committee appointments as listed. You may have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Commandment Delcourt? Yes. Commandment McCalling? Yes. Commandment Sarachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number nine, resolution approving the Township Committee assignments and Township Committee liaison assignments for 2014 as listed. You may have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? And from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Commander Delcourt? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number 10, resolu resolution adopting the 2014 temporary budget. State law provides that a municipality may adopt a temporary budget in an amount not to exceed 26.25% of the previous year's budget at the beginning of the year. This gives the Township Committee time to develop the new annual budget and allows for the government to continue its operations. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? And from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Commander Delcourt? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Mitsurachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Number 11, resolution authorizing Premier Media LLC to videotape the Hillsborough Township Committee meetings in 2014 at a cost of $250 per meeting pursuant to proposals submitted on December 16th, 2013. Kaz, as always, we're happy to have your assistance in this, so thank you. <laughs> May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Welcome back, Kaz. <laughs> Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Committee Mandelcourt? Yes. Committee McCauley? Yes. Committee Mansarachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda. May I have a motion to approve, uh, to approve the consent agenda for this evening? So moved. Second. Are there any comments on tonight's uh, consent agenda? Seeing none, roll call. Committee Member Burchette? Yes. Committee Mandelcourt? Yes. Commander Mama McCauley? Yes. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Okay. Again, I want to remind everyone that we'll have a cake and coffee reception immediately following this meeting across the hall in the multipurpose room. Thank you all for coming out tonight and braving the weather and for tuning in on our home channel 29. This concludes our 2014 reorganization meeting. Travel safely home. And our next meeting will be January 14, 2014, here at the Missile Building at 730. Good night. Happy New Year. Thank you for coming. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So ordered. Thank you. Good night.